Yes, I am. I am back in my room and I am actually sitting here without my scooter. I do have my cane, but that's okay. I can live with that. So, um, yeah, here we are. And I have my new lighting, which I think might be just a little too bright. <laughs> just seeing that now, I look like a ghost. Hang on. Oh, let's see if we can tone that puppy down a little bit. There we go. There. Okay. Whew. So I finally have my, uh, my room set up again. So now I can start doing my videos in here and I can start doing my tutorials. Woo! Oh, I tell you, I feel a hundred percent better. Uh, now that I've got back in here and um, yeah it's it's only been like seven weeks or something but um, it feels like a lifetime it really does so so let's get started first order of business I did a happy dance and for good reason so here it is or if it's over here okay so it wasn't pretty but I did it <laughs> and there is a reason for the happy dance one is because I'm back in my room and the sun's coming in nice anyway um, the second is because woo my sister Sandy from Left is Right Crochet has hit her thousand subscribers. Yeah! I am so freaking happy for her. She's worked so hard on her channel and she deserves it like nobody's business. Like I, I'm just, I'm, I cried when she hit her thousand subscribers. I was so happy for her and I, I had to send her an email right away. So congratulations, sweetheart. I, I love you to bits and uh, onward and upward. Okay, so uh, next is Stitch Fest. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole other story right there. So anyway, so congratulations. So go check her channel out. I will link it down below. Uh, I might be able to put a little banner thingy up here somewhere uh, and go check her out. She's hilarious and I just love her so much. So, okay, so that's one. Number two is, <laughs> I've been doing so much crochet lately. And the reason why I didn't do a 2020 video yesterday is because so many people were going to be doing it and I just opted out. Uh, and I didn't put up, a, I was going to put up a video yesterday until I remembered what the date was. And I just thought, you know what, everybody's feed is going to be just flooded with 2020 videos so I just said no I'm just gonna I have fluff in my eye <laughs> um I I just opted up so there you have it but I did do crocheting I crocheted a lot actually actually uh oh I have alpaca fur in my eye because <laughs> that's a whole other story right there that I'll get to okay so instead of doing the 2020, what I did do was um, Seta has a calendar hat every month that she is going to be doing. I don't know if she's doing the cowls as well as the hats or just the hats. I think she said just the hats, but some people are opting to do the cowls like she did last year. Uh, so I did mine in this big pile of crochet here somewhere. Oh, here it is. So here is my calendar hat. I put it on um, her Facebook page already. Let's see. So there it is. So the main colors were purple, green, and um, pink, like a hot pink, um, almost like a dark hot pink. Um, so this was the result. So I'll just leave that one on. <laughs> So I did that 
And then also, um, uh, Crystal from Chronically Crochet is also doing a monthly thing where she's going to be spinning the wheel and it's going to be telling you what we're supposed to be making. And uh, for January, it was a cowl. So, <laughs> I went outside of my comfort zone and I made a cowl. Now, you can't see it. Oh, this is blowing it out way too much. You can't see it, but there's a lot of sparkle in this cowl. Okay, this is, and I didn't bring the band, it's Premier. Um, it's the Premier Sparkle White. I think it's called um, but it's of course it's white and I have makeup on now I'm actually got makeup on guys Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> I'm batting a thousand today so there it is so I did that and I posted that on her site so but it's really nice it's I mean if you could actually see the sparkle on it it would be so much better I'll see if I can no I, even when I took a picture um, you couldn't see the sparkle but it's yeah it's way better in person so I did that uh, what else okay I did where is it oh for God's sakes really oh <laughs> duh the hat pattern that I did for the set of hat, I forgot to say that, is, I don't know if you can see the stitchers, stitches in here. But anyways, the hat pattern is my own pattern. And the pattern's called Dragon Dreams. And you can find that on my um, Etsy page. Uh, I will leave that link down below as well so if you're interested go on over there and check that out okay uh, oh and and the yarn that I used for this was landscapes called uh, apple or orchid orchard arch orchard <laughs> I get that and like orchard and orchid I can never say them anyway so that's what I used for this hat Okay, now, um, I, I have to say I am absolutely heartbroken to find out that Billy is not coming, Billy and Cheryl are not coming to Stitch Fest. Ah, I am so, I understand why they're not coming. I totally get it. Um, but it's still, I mean, everybody was looking so forward to it. And so was Billy and Cheryl and, oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. But that on the other side of it, there's going to be almost 30, I think, um, people that will be coming. It's like, holy man, I have to make all of the, uh, name tags for everybody and I have some other things that I'm going to be making for everybody. And where am I going to find the time? Yeah. <laughs> that is the question. So, anyways. So, don't feel bad, Billy and Cheryl. It's okay. You know, we, we will miss you terribly. But um, there will be other Stitch Fests. And uh, Billy was talking about having a Stitch Fest down where she is in Florida. And uh, unfortunately, I probably won't be able to go, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> so anyway, okay, moving on. Um, the fish hat, oops, fish hat that I made, I finally got the eyes for it. Now, I had a lot of comments saying uh, not to put these safety eyes on because it would end up scratching the head. But um, I've put them in really deep, so if you, you can't even see the um, the back of it. And I cut the back off and I filed it down. So George tried it on and he doesn't have any hair, so he couldn't even feel it. 
So I'm hoping that that's going to be okay. I've had a lot of comments about this hat. <laughs> and I may end up having to make some more. You want me to try it on, don't you? <laughs> I don't look so good in this hat, but whatever. So there it is. And then there's the tail. There's the fins. Can you see that? <laughs> so there it is. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. So I'm not gonna be keeping that one on. <laughs> it's just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, next on my list. I have been going gangbusters with these campfire cardigans. Yeah, I think I have a problem. <laughs> okay, so here's the here's the last one I made. I just finished this one last night. And it's got the uh, wide sleeves. It's like a kimono type sleeve. And the back is like that, right? It's made from the Huga yarn. And uh, this is copper. It's a copper color. It's really pretty. I think this one out of all of them is my favorite so far. It is so soft. Uh, oh, and then the bottom. You've got the copper on the bottom, right? You can't, it's hard to see because... This is um, not ideal. <laughs> yeah. So that's the last one I made. Um, I just love these cardigans, right? But you've really got to be careful in what you use with these because I found out, you know, yeah, I had a bad scene happen. But I'll get to that in a minute. Okay. Now, I can't remember if I showed these ones to you or not, but Ooh. and I just love the Huga yarn. I, I, this, I think that's why this one's my favorite because I love the Huga yarn. It works up so nice. It is so soft and it washes like a dream. Okay, so put that one over there. Now this one. Okay, this one was made with the, let me move over a bit. This one was made with the alpaca, no, it wasn't, sorry. <laughs> okay, this one was made with the Karen Latte. Let's bring this over a little closer. Same exact pattern, right? It's got the kimono type sleeves. Um, but it, this is all latte cake, right? So it's a lot lighter than the Huga, um, and it, but it's just as soft. It's I just absolutely love it. But this one is more of a, a spring fall, uh, whereas the other one is definitely a fall winter. Okay, so there's that one. Oh, in the back. There's the back. Okay. Oh, it's hard for me to get this on straight and everything because I'm sitting down. <laughs> so, okay. All right, so there's that one. Put that one over there. Now this one, this one's really heavy. Oh, hang on. I'll see if I can stand up. <laughs> I absolutely love this one. This one is really long, um, so you can't see the bottom, but it's same thing, kimono sleeves. Um, this was made from Huga yarn and Karen Big Cakes. So 
you've got the um, the different colors of the big cakes that come through. It's really hard for me to show this to you this way. <laughs> I should put try them on, but um, then I'd have to set up my camera in a whole different way. It's like a uh, pain in the butt. So anyway, so this one goes down past your butt, like quite a ways past your butt. Right, not to your knees, but it's like it's past your butt. So this one is probably an XL to a 1X. Uh, the the one I just showed you is probably a small to medium, and then the copper one is probably about a large. So, okay, so there's that one, and then. This one I think I showed you. This one's a shorty. This is definitely a small. And it's got the three quarter sleeves. Like they come to about, about there, I guess. Um, but it depends on how, how small you are, right? Is, you know, I, I got my neighbor to try it on and she's about a small medium and it came it came to about there. So this one was made from the Karen Latte and also the um, Big Cake. Karen, uh, the, yeah, <laughs> Karen Big Cake. So, and then the back, there's the back. Ugh. Okay, and this is definitely a summer, spring kind of jacket. Okay, so that is, put your head on, head back on straight. <laughs> so that is all of my cardigans. Um, and they will all be for sale. Yes, they will. I'm going to be putting them on my Etsy page, and I'm going to have the dimensions and everything on there so you know exactly how wide they are, how long they are, stuff like that. Okay, uh, so I'm in the process of making another one. This is, I'm going to do this one in all Huga as well. But again, I ran out of Huga. <laughs> of, of this Huga. By the way, I did finally get my Huga. I'm going to turn this down a little bit now so the sun's gone. Oh, there we go. So, um, I, I have to get some more of the gray Huga. I didn't get enough. So this one I'm hoping is going to be around a large, but it's, I just love the look of the all Huga, uh, Cardi. So I, uh, I'm going to do that. So I had this epiphany and it hurt. <laughs> I was thinking about doing a another Cardi. Um, I, I found this in my stash. It's the Loops and Threads Sparkle Lux. Oh God. You know, this light is a great idea, but when you're trying to show stuff, it's not such a great idea. Ah, oh, hang on. Okay. Well, that's no good. Still trying to get used to this whole lighting thing. There we go. Can you see that? A sparkle lux. Can you see the sparkle? Oops. I don't know if you can see the sparkle on there. Anyway. So, um, but I figured, you know, it's a little bit rough. Like it's not rough, 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 rough. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like really scratchy your skin kind of rough, but it's, I don't know. So, and I also found the Loops and Threads Shimmer Lux. Okay. And this is, I mean, it's just gorgeous. I love this. Now this is soft. 
this is actually really soft. So I decided to put the two together. And I also decided what I was going to do, instead of making a cardi, I was going to make a pullover with a turtleneck. Yeah. So I started it. And then I realized this is way too wide, like way too wide. This is going to be like a 5X, you know, and I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> it should have been like half of that, maybe just a little more than half. So this is going to be a very big pullover. It's going to be more like a poncho. So I may end up turning it into, you know, those ponchos with the turtlenecks that have the buttons down the side. I may end up doing something like that instead. But it's turning out really nice. Um, you can see the sparklies in there. So, <clears throat> so I started doing that. And I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants with that one. Okay, um, I just have two shout outs today and that is obviously Left is Right Crochet, Sandy at Left is Right Crochet. It's actually Left is Right Crochet with Sandy. <laughs> so um, go on over there and congratulate her because that is a big feat. Okay, um, I also want to shout out my, my pal in crime, uh, Petra from Petra's Happy Place. Um, she's she's doing some great stuff with her channel. She's doing lives and tutorials. She's going to start doing tutorials and, and all of that. And I'm just like, you go, girl. You go, girl. Um, I had some other shout-outs, I thought. Do I? Oh, well, everybody know, knows the yarn hag Ryan. Oh, my God. God, did you see her last video? Holy cow. She is doing these heart attack in a box things. Brilliance. I never would have thought of doing something like that. I, she gets a box. She lines it with heart, like heart wrapping paper or heart tablecloth paper or whatever. And then she stuffs it full of gifts. And then she puts some heart stuff in there and confetti and balloons and all this stuff in there. And like she was saying to put um, gifts inside little balloons and put that in there. And then it's really light. And I was like, did she, did she think this up or did she, did someone else think this up or, oh, Bailey's talking. Um, I, because it's a brilliant idea. It really is. And you could do this for any occasion. You could do it for birthdays. You could do it for Valentine's Day. You could do it for Christmas. You can do any holiday, any holiday, St. Patrick's Day, you know, any holiday. And, uh, I think it's absolutely brilliant. So I'll leave her link down below. Go check her out. She's a brand new channel and she's already doing fantastic. She's going to grow with leaps and bounds. So I just took this hook out of something and I don't know what I... <laughs> anyway, uh, is there anything else I need to talk about before I go? I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a while. And there must be some other stuff that I... I've been watching everybody's channel. I think I'm finally caught up. And I'm sure that there's stuff that I wanted to talk to you about other channels and I can't remember. My brain is just like mush right now. And don't forget to look in, in my description box because I have a lot of goodies down in there that uh, you may not know about. And um, like I've got Amazon, things that I love from Amazon down there. Uh, I have some links of different things and I'm going to have to go through it and rearrange it and design it differently I think because it's I never I didn't exactly know how to do it before but now I do 
so I'm going to have to go in there and figure stuff out. Okay, so that's it. That's all I got for you. I know. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> okay, so I will talk to you guys later. And I uh, hope you guys are having a great week. Or the for great first couple of weeks of January. Um, we had two days of snow. It just dumped a foot of snow on us. And then it started to rain and whoop, it was all gone. Thank goodness. I, I, I'm looking at Newfoundland and holy cow, they are in distress right now with all of their snow. They got like four feet dumped on them in 24 hours. I couldn't believe it. I was just, oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. And then Australia. Holy crap, they go from one thing to the opposite, complete opposite. They had all the wild, wildfires and everything. Then they got all the rain. Now they got golf ball sized hailstones coming down. It's like, oh my God, all the trees are gone. And then these golf balls are coming down. It's going to wipe out the rest of the animals. It's like, I, just, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. It's like, oh my God, like, it's so sad. It's so sad, right? It's, I can't give them a break. Oh, geez. Oh, okay, I'm gonna stop now because I'm just gonna get really upset. Oh, there was something else I wanted to show you guys. It's a little on the sad note, but it's a happy note as well. Okay, I realized why it was so dark in here. It's because I didn't have my overhead light on. Dun. Okay, so as you, a lot of you know, and if you don't know, I'm going to tell you, um, we lost our puppy just before Christmas. Uh, her name was Odie, and she was very, she was old, she was 15, she was getting really sick, and uh, we had to let her go. It devastated us, and um, it made for a real hard Christmas. So we are still in the adjustment period of being without her. And we, when we um, had her cremated, we also wanted something to memor memor remember her by. So we got in touch with um, a company called Handled With Care. And they did a... Um, paw print for us. They actually went a little further than that and it really shocked us when we opened this and it was a good shock but it was also a heart-wrenching shock and I'm really going to try not to cry <laughs> because it we just picked it up today and it was like it, it just it hit us so hard so it came in this cute little bag and uh, until we meet again. So the first thing I saw was this. And the card says, may the memories of your precious pet soften the sadness in your heart. And then I opened it. Oh, trying really hard to, I don't know if you can see that. That's Odie's fur. <clears throat> so they gave us um, a little memory <clears throat> a little memory of her on top of this beautiful paw print and you can even see her little nails in there and these are called um, 
spots. That's the company. <clears throat> now I'll see if I can get this out of here. They packaged this really beautifully, really beautifully. They put it in a tin, like this is a really nice tin. And you, they have a thing on the back, so if you want to hang it up, you can hang it just like that. Now, when you open it up, whoop, let's see if I can do this. Come on. There we go. It is set in some foam. This is all nice black foam. And it is, come on, it's a beautiful, um, um, what do you call it, pottery, pottery stone. And her name is on the back. So, <sighs> I am so glad Oops, I'm so glad that we did this because we miss her so much. We miss her so much. I have her picture on my on my cell phone. I took the picture of me and George off my cell phone. <laughs> and I put a picture of Odie. <laughs> um, so that every day I can open my phone and I can see her. So, um, so yeah. So this is the most wonderful idea. So if you have to let go of one of your pets and say goodbye and send them over the Rainbow Bridge, I, I really suggest that you ask them if they are part of a program like this because it's just so, it, it's something that you can keep forever, right? So, um, but this, this, yeah, this really, whew, really sent me for a loop. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys because I know that Odie was a big part of my YouTube channel. Uh, and if you don't understand what I'm talking about, go take a look at my earlier uh, videos and you will see her and you will hear her. <laughs> <laughs> she had the loudest snore ever <laughs> and as much as it drove me crazy when I was trying to videotape and hear her snoring all the time I ter I miss it terribly now I really do so um, I will leave the link up below of the video of us having to say goodbye and um, and yeah so thank you so much for joining me and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.